Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'd like to share with you a trick that I use when laying up a sort core composite. So stick around. Okay, welcome back. My name is Lee Adams, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to keep your sort core from separating at the seams. All right, so here's the mold behind me. Um, it's kind of got a complex shape, uh, some compound curves. The sort doesn't like to sit and uh, conform very well. So let's get in, and we'll do this trick. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get my core tucked down in. I try to come in here and give it a rough trace. All right, so now that we have that pattern traced, I'm going to get in there with my roller cutter, trim this up, see how it fits. So the next step, I'm going to try to match these up. So I use these uh, Fiskars, which are super awesome because of the shape. You can really get in and do some trimming. Okay, now that I got some of these ready, uh, I recommend always tracing these, making a pattern, because you, you know you you get to your infusion and something goes wrong and you got to start over. You uh, you're gonna really wish you had a pattern. So. Um, Always trace these <clears throat> and uh, have them ready for next time. Okay, so this is the technique that I use for my sort core so that it does not separate. Now that that's stitched up, I can drop this in. Kind of get it lined up where it goes. And now we have a really nice seam. And when the vacuum pressure comes, it's not going to separate and give you a weak spot or a thin spot. So that's my technique. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest and we'll come back and see how it looks. All right, well thanks for joining me for another video. I'll put a link in the description to some of the products that I use in this video. And if you'd like to follow the progress of my sports car build with these composites, hit that subscribe button, click the bell, and I'll see you in the next video.